right. I really wanted to put this on Facebook Live. I really yeah. did. It happens. Hey, you know, we're making it work. We're, we're totally making it we're work. We're making the best of the situation. <laughs> uh, there, there. That's Chris Pienta. Hey. He, he is going? an artist. He's the curator of all the art you see at the Lagunitas Tap Room. I want to talk at length about the Lagunitas Tap Room. This is an Great. adult playground. I don't think people realize. <laughs> They, why get on a plane and go to Vegas when this place exists? Exactly. Oh, my God. 15 I, minutes from downtown. 15 minutes from downtown. I want to talk all about Lagunitas. Uh, but first, I should mention, Carcon Carne is sponsored by CNH Financial Services. Business owners, are you tired of your hard-earned profits going toward paying expensive fees every time your customer pays with a credit or debit card? We're happy to announce our partners at CNH Financial Services have the solution. CNH is the fastest growing financial services company in Illinois as recognized by Inc. Magazine and their patented technology allows you to eliminate 100% of the fees associated with accepting credit and debit cards as a form of payment. That's right. Chris. All right. 100% of the fees. <laughs> CNH will also upgrade your business to the industry's leading point of sale system to streamline every aspect of your business. For what? No cost. No cost. No cost. Crazy. Visit freeprocessingnow.com or call 855-600-2437, extension 999, and start saving money today. Chris, are you ready to do this podcast? And we're back. And we're back <laughs> in the parking lot of the Lagunitas Tap Room. Now, we're drinking Lagunitas tonight. We are. But more specifically, this is non-alcoholic. This is, uh, oh God, I forgot the name of it. It's their hoppy, uh, hoppy water thing. It's delicious. Oh, I can't. I can't think of the name. Of it I can't think of the name of it. Oh my God! Jack just told me. I cannot remember the he name. Just of told it, me. My so. I'm, my mem- my short term memory is completely shot. It's uh, good. This is it's like hoppy. It's a seltzer hoppy. I don't even know how to explain. Anyways, it. it's like an IPA, but there water. There you go. There you go. There you go. Way to describe it. And it's delicious. I mean, I had some upstairs. It is super refreshing. It, you can taste the hops. It tastes like it should be alcoholic. It should be alcoholic. It's it definitely tastes like it should be alcoholic. Yeah, I mean, this this is something I would want to drink all summer all long. All summer long. Refreshing. It, this really is. Like, if you're looking... It's refreshing. Especially, maybe you had a couple beers and you need to dial it back. This is a good thing to transition Gets to. Gets the job done. This, this is lovely. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I am excited to eat. Oh, I know. So, okay, we're at the Lagunitas yeah. Tap Room. This place, you walk in, you walk down this long hall. I mean, this is where they make beer. But it's like the Willy Wonka factory, so much so that as you're walking through the main hall, the main corridor, they're playing Pure Imagination from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It's awesome. They have pinball games as far as the eye can see. (laughs) They have live music. There was some live blues happening when we went up there. Live music, always blues, Americana. There's the artwork on the wall that you curate, and we're going to talk about that. We'll get there. And then there's the food. We've got food tonight. (laughs) I've got to thank Lagunitas for setting us up. Uh, Their menu is... Top flight. The, the stuff they're doing in this tap room. Stellar. Um, they gave us Haganitas sandwiches, which is like their take on a Cubano. I want to read what the uh, yeah. Haganitas is. It's carnitas, bacon, ham. So all the pork families represented yeah. there. Caramelized onion, Dijonese, Swiss cheese, and sliced pickles on a Cuban roll. Oh. Hell yes. Mwah. Mwah. Hell yes. <laughs> I cannot so wait. We have those. We also have... They're smoked wings. Six smoked wings. You can choose between spicy or barbecue. We didn't. We got them both. Got them both. Um, served with carrot, celery, and your choice of blue cheese or ranch. I'm so pumped oh, God. to have the smoked wings. And also, we got the nachos. The, uh, the what, what's the word? Brisket nachos. Brisket nachos. Which, I, I don't know how we're going to do all this. I don't know either, but I'm ready to try. I definitely, I'm definitely ready to give it a shot. I definitely ate a light lunch. So, Putting 100% cheers. forward. Thank you, Lagunitas. Lagunitas, I, yes. It's killing me that I can't remember the name of this drink I'm drinking. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely figure it out. But I mean, uh, we all know a little something something. We all know. Everybody loves a little something something. That's, yeah. one, of, that's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites. The pills, like all the <coughs> standard Lagunitas beers. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they also, well, Wednesday through Sunday, they do tours. Your tasting tours. Mm-hmm. One, three, and five o'clock. So you guys can come up here and have tasting tours and check out the whole place, too. I mean, seriously, if you don't drink, this is fantastic. It's, it's great. It's great. This it really is. is. So good. It, it's refreshing. It quenches your thirst, unlike other things, you know? It that, tastes kind of fruity, yeah. in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely hoppy. I, I like this very much. All right, so let's figure out what we have okay. as we talk about you and art. All right. What's that? What do you have there? I believe these are the hoagies. These are the, yes, yes. One for you. The Hagunitas? The Hagunitas, yes. So I'm going to show this off. Please do, because it, it just looks good. Okay, I want to... Oh, <laughs> I know, right? All right, so I talked about the caramelized onion. I need to make sure I can... This looks like heaven. There we go. That's the Haganitas. 
I'm just gonna. You have one. Okay. You got, oh yeah. You ready to dive in? Days. Yeah. Why not? Let's just dive in. Bacon Lagunitas again. All the pork families represented. There are carnitas. There's bacon. Oh my. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's James. Yeah, I, I can't James. I can't communicate how good this smells right now. Oh my lord. Mhm. 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 Yep. That's all I gotta say. Mhm. So you can eat like a king or queen. Yes. Here. Yes. Yes. It really is like an adult playground here. It really is. You can occupy an entire day with the Lagunitas tap room. It's also gigantic. It's I mean, huge. Because <laughs> it's a brewery, it is gigantic. They have like a catwalk where you can kind of like look over everything that's going on, see the tanks. See how everything's being made, see the beer come right off the line. It's, it's beautiful. It's pretty badass. I mean, you can go in there by the bar. You got live music right outside the bar. Indoors, you can play bags, shuffleboard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got you got everything in this place. Mm -hmm. Pinball, especially. You know, we got the pinball machines. I know you're a pinball fan. So. But do we have napkins is the big question. Oh, you know. <laughs> what? Dude, Am I going to use my sleeve? And he put it in the in here. I'm gonna yell at Jack when we go back upstairs. Don't yell at Jack. We love Jack. Thank okay, you, Jack. I'm gonna hug Jack when we go upstairs. I should just mm -hmm. say that. I do love Jack. It's like a big family here. Like I said a bunch of times already, everybody's just so cool here. Like you, you won't find that one bad guy. Like I said, every place I've worked, there's always that one guy. I haven't found him yet. Yeah. So. Like I, I want to come here every day. <laughs> I wish you would, man. I, I, I just might. Let's talk a little bit about artwork. Okay, let's do that. So you curate. Yes. The artwork, right? Oh, hell yes. yes. Wait, is there one for you? Yeah, the other one. Okay. Jack came through. Jack came through. Yeah. So you were already you were all ready to break bad on Jack, not me. I know. Not Jack, me. you had your back. You had your totally back. had your back, Jack. Jack, you had your back. Um, yeah, you know, it's, so this art, it's like an art display. It is. It's the first, you know, the gallery opened, I guess, they, they start, started in 2018. And uh, it was just kind of a little thing. It wasn't big. A couple, of, a couple of people from around the, the local neighborhood just doing things like that. The first girl took off, second girl took over, her name was Sarah, and she actually boosted it up a little bit, got a little bit more promotions going. She had to take off and do her own thing. She invited me to be in a couple of shows, and because of the artwork that these guys saw here, they saw my stuff. And there, when Sarah was taken off, they said, we love your artwork, we love your style, we think you'd be a great fit here, would you be interested in doing the curating job for the gallery? And of course, uh, yeah, I'm jumping all over yeah, that. Yeah, no brainer. Yeah, no brainer, for sure. I got just so many ideas, and it's just, it's great, because it gives me the opportunity to just help people out, you know, bring more people mm -hmm. to, 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 to light that are in Chicago. There's so many talented people around here, it's ridiculous. And then it also, you know, helps promote my artwork, too, which is always in the gallery. So. And I love your artwork. Thank uh, you. You, you obviously you. are a music fan. Oh, huge, huge. Music and art, my life, from day one, man. I mean, just... It. Going through your Instagram, it's like, oh, there's Janis Joplin, there's Dave Grohl, there's Jim Morrison. I mean, you, you go through all the different eras. You could prom prominently see a lot of your stuff on display here. You brought two things, two pieces of artwork into the car today. I did. Two gifts for you, sir. Two gifts. Oh. I'm not worthy. Oh, you, I hope you, I hope you dig these. So first we'll do. All right. I got to make sure this shows up in the camera. First we'll do the gifts. Should I not look? Uh, you can look, you can look, you can look. First we'll do the smaller one, okay. the one that you had no idea was coming. So this is my Bowie foil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Wait, did, did you know how much I love Bowie? I have no idea. I was hoping you were a Bowie fan. I, honestly, Are you serious? I swear to God, I, it was him or Neil Young, I went Bowie. You, you made the right choice. Yes! Alright, so growing up, no joke, all I did was listen to Bowie. Like every album. Love, love Bowie. Uh, Seriously, my three favorite Bowie albums, Station to Station, Diamond Dogs, and Scary Monsters. Amen. Amen. So, Diamond Dogs is my favorite. All right, well, yeah, because it has We Are the Dead, exactly. uh, Big Brother, 1984, Rebel Rebel. Such a great album. Uh, but Start to finish. I could talk Bowie all day long. I love it. So this, we we're going to have to talk Bowie all day long This day. is gorgeous. Now, here's the thing. I knew this is coming. <laughs> I don't know what this looks like. So, we did a portrait of the man. Uh, I'm hoping he likes it. There's a lot of little extras. The man extras. being me. Yes, yes. The man being... Him, so. <laughs> yeah. <Jack> it <laughs> yes. Oh, dude, I love this. I absolutely love I am this. glad that you love this, brother. It was fun to do for you, man. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. So we did. You got a whole, I used the Chicago colors is what I went with. Oh, the little, brilliant. Got oh, my God. Little, okay. Skylines I got to try and hold this up. The, the <laughs> skylines on the bottom. Mini skylines. I don't even know if you can get in the camera. The <laughs> skylines on the bottom of this. Oh, so mini dude! Skylines. I put I, some uh, some gold flake on here. There's some silver gold on the rims. This is the background afterwards. The I, Chicago colors. Yes, I went for Chicago colors. Oh, uh, what a thoughtful 
really well done. I, I, I couldn't be more flattered and honored oh, by this. This man, is really... a pleasure, man. Thank you. Thank you. You did such a terrific job. Thank I, you. I, I, I'm near speechless, but I have to keep talking because it's a podcast. <laughs> um, this is truly... I mean, it's kind of, I feel kind of weird accepting a portrait of myself, like I'm... Ah, don't, don't. Like, this is like Vladimir Putin it. would do. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and there's a skull and crossbones, because I'm metal AF. Yes, uh, you know, right I had a little accent skull and crossbones. Mm-hmm. I even got a little side, I did some side designs for you, a little, all is, around. You are a true artist, my friend. Oh, this is thank you, sir. I appreciate it, this brother. This is lovely. I mean, truly, I love one of a it. kind. I, just flattered and honored. This is... I'm going to gently set this back here. Go right ahead, my man. So it's all know. yours. All yours. You know, we'll oh, throw, my God. We'll put Bowie back there, too. I can't believe you just guessed on Bowie. I, I just, seriously, just took a shot in the dark, man. So, same thing, foil. Uh, it's one of my personal foils, the hand-drawn, hand-cut stencils. And then I put the background on first, and then I put Bowie over that. This is gorgeous. Thank you, brother. Like, it, seriously, I can't believe you nailed it. Thank you. Like, this is... <laughs> I'm so glad I nailed it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> and the picture of me is lovely and wonderful, but the fact that you just... Bowie? Instinctively came out with the Bowie. Like, I was just thinking. I don't know. I, I felt it. It was Neil Young or Bowie, and I went Bowie. Bowie's my guy. Can so. I tell you a secret? Yeah. A little Neil Young goes a long way with me. Okay. Okay. I a like that. I like that. A little bit. I like Harvest. I'm good at Harvest Moon, and I'm, I'm a happy camper. Russ never sleeps. Okay. Okay. A little powder finger. A little, I can dig that. I, I don't just discriminate you know okay. give, give me some america uh, that's happy. amazing so if you're looking at this uh, be it on facebook or on youtube and you like the style of what you just saw the picture of me and the picture of bowie that's what chris does thanks I mean, his artwork uh, there's uh, something of Grohl, uh, a portrait of Grohl, dave Grohl up there uh, which is just lovely and you can see your artwork on instagram but thank you why not see it in person here yeah come on down and have a little something something while yeah you're... hang out i'm here i'm here most days you know i always stop in and i'm easy i'm, I'm easy to contact i'm easy to get along with uh, Instagram is Chris Pianta Art, and if you guys come up in here, I'm usually just up in here too. And I'm just super easy. I mean, most of the times I leave my number up here, people can just contact me that way. I mean, I really don't mind at all. So it's fun to be out there. I like commu- you know connecting with people, getting so different stories. Have you always been creating, making art, painting? You know, I always and have. Has it always been music? So it's always been. The first concert I ever went to was Rolling Stone Steel Wheels tour because mm-hmm. of my dad. So. Ever since then, it's always been what they listen to. You know, I was mm-hmm. listening to oldies, you know, Dick Biondi, all that stuff. <laughs> and then from there, you know, I've gone through everything. I started with, you know, the older stuff. I've had my third eye blind, Blink-182 days, you know. And mm-hmm. then, you know, you can find the Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters. Always been to music and art. I sung in a band for about six years. That was fun. It was a good time. I was a lead singer. Did We did everything from Hendrix to, you know, Doors to cover band, cover band, and we did, we did, I did a lot of originals. We wrote about had about fifteen originals. I wrote all the music for it, so it was a good time. It was a good time, but um, I just love being in the scene. I love being in this creative scene. Just I mean, you meet so many good people in, in mm-hmm. Chicago in the scene. It's just you know it's it's it's, the, it's what I love to do. It's what I love to do. And the more you get involved, whether it's the music scene or the art scene, you realize everyone knows each other. Yeah, yeah. The connections that like oh I know that guy. I know that guy. And me, like I told you, I really wasn't getting a lot of love when I first started in Chicago. It's I, tough. Yeah, it's it's tough to break in here, man, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of talented people here. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's not a bad thing. So I was getting a lot of love in New York when I when I first started. That's where I kind of, it all happened. New York was gave you me a lot of love You broke in New York. Yeah, I broke in New York. And then, uh, Which seems impossible. I, you know, to me, too, I was thinking the same thing. I, think it'd be, I thought it would be easier in Chicago. New York has that stigma of being a, a harsher to mm-hmm. get into but no yeah uh, a gentleman from new york named howie silver he kind of hit me up and he runs a gallery named two cells gallery he hit me up and uh I'm started inhaling, working with him i'm inhaling this by the way i can go nuts trust me I, i'm looking forward to the next one i just want to keep talking you gotta get to the wings <laughs> no I'm, see this is this is my secret i make the guests do all the talking yeah, so I noticed. It's, it's, it's a smooth move mm-hmm. smooth operator uh, i do love it like i said i've always been part of the arts always been part of the music scene just, just love the whole everything, you know. Reggie's is a big spot. I lived on the block from Reggie's, so I'm always up in there. You know, you gotta love Reggie's. Mm-hmm. But um, this place now, this is my go-to. And once you, once you guys come here, it's gonna be your go-to too. I promise it's just you. Just I think, same with Riot Fest. People think this area is really difficult to get to. Mm-hmm. It's not. And the parking lot here is. Say? It's gigantic. You can fit in. Yeah, you can have a concert in this parking lot if you want. <laughs> it just, I, I love the immersive. Ness uh, of the Lagunitas Tap Room. The second you walk in, you are in their world. Yes, yes, totally overcomes you as soon as you walk mm-hmm. in that door, man. It's, it's unlike I, I can't think of anything to compare it to in Chicago. I really can't. 
I swear, there's nothing like it. it. It's like you're not in Chicago when you walk in this building. It's it's a beautiful experience, man. It really is from start to finish. I, I walked in, and I was a little stressed out. I had some technical things going on, so I was a little stressed out. I walked in, I'm like, exhale. Yeah. Yeah, we're all Relax. good. All good, you're here. We're, we're going to have fun tonight. Exactly. Uh-huh. That's what it's about. It's having fun. That's all I was looking forward to, man. Smiles, laughing, sharing some food. <laughs> so, if someone wants to get involved with the arts here, or the, the art display, the, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the gallery... Yeah, right. Uh, at Lagunitas, what do they have to do? They reach out to you? Reach out to me. Um, reach out to me and contact me on the Instagram, like I say, Chris Pianta Art. I'll, I'll share that too. Or my number's up there all the time. I got cards up in here. We'll, we'll share everything. But yeah, you guys contact me. I go through the motions. So what we're doing is, besides just art, we're going to do like, I have ideas for, I know a lot of people do fashion. We're going to do a fashion show here. Get some people decorating jackets, shirts, jeans. They got their own style, their own brand. We're going to do that. And a lot of people that do jewelry. There is um, a fashion scene. Yeah. It, it's, but not like not like a runway model scene. Like there's a cool. It's an underground yeah. kind of fashion scene. Yeah. Like like me, I paint leather jackets and things like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sure you might have seen it. So I do a lot of that kind of stuff. But that's kind of where we're working at. There's a couple of different guys I've been talking to. A couple of guys design their own belts, jeans, shoes. Some dudes design their own shirts and jackets. So there's a lot of people in Chicago and a couple people outside of Chicago that I want to bring in for that. Then we're going to do some photography shows. Like, I'm trying to get everything. I'm trying to immerse this place with a little bit of everything, you know? Fashion, photography, art. I mean, you name it. I'll try to do some live poetry slams in this place if they're going to let me. So, you know, just want to do everything, man. This is a destination. Yes, yes. This is the place to do it. All right, let's get more food. Yes. I, I'm just going to keep feeding you until you explode. <laughs> I'm not complaining. And this beverage, th- this 0% alcohol... Hoppy water. We're doing the wings is next. It, it's about the most delicious thing ever. We're doing the wings. All right, so I don't know if that's the spicy one or the barbecue one. I want to say, I, I'm smelling a spice on here. I'm getting that little bit of... Good. How do you feel about sweating and crying on camera? Yeah, I love sweating and crying. I was hoping we were going to. Oh, good. And we have, we each have our one napkin. We each have the one napkin. Which is great for eating wings. Oh, genius. <laughs> I saw there was one place here when the guy was smart enough to do the dry rub. That was... Yeah, that was recent. That, that was, was uh, recent. out in Des Plaines. Yeah, so I was like, that's, that's the way to go. Sometimes I have a stand. Wait, 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 wait. What do we have here? Yeah. What do we have? Straight gold, my man. You just got to keep digging, bro. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Keep digging. (laughs) All right, so we're going to do the spicy wings. Now, they they smoke these in house. Mm -hmm. Um, (coughs) And they were very excited to share these. I'm very excited to eat these. I'm very excited to eat these guys. I'm a wing kind of sore. Are you right? I will. I love my wings. I'm a big fan of. So we have some ranch over here Mm -hmm. if you want to do that. And I believe that would be the blue cheese. Blue cheese, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna just hold gonna up. Dive right in. Yeah, we're not standing on ceremony, Kristen. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! All right, look at this thing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Is it spicy? I'm not getting that spicy out. I mean, it, these are the spicy wings, but I can handle it. Mm-hmm. Mild spice. Oh yeah, there's some heat right off the bat. There's some heat. Mm-hmm. But I've had worse. <laughs> I've had Here's the thing. These are also very meaty. It's key. Here's key. the thing. I love spice. I don't like when places make things hot just to, just to make the point that they're hot. Hitting it on the head, man. You gotta have a flavor. There's gotta be to flavor. It. Yeah. And there's there's a ton of flavor in this, like different types of pepper flavors in here. Definitely, I'm getting a lot of different flavors. In here. And the smoky flavor helps. I love anything smoked. I'm a huge smoked fan. Me too. Yeah. Do you I'm smoke? A, do, you, do you smoke? Uh, I personally don't. I personally don't do any smoking myself. I used to for a couple years, and then I got too lazy. <laughs> just said, I'm gonna go out and buy it. Huh? And it just. Saying, okay, I'd like to smoke a pork shoulder. I better wake up around 4.30 and get everything going. <laughs> I do that a few times, and you think, I'm going to leave it to the pros. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. not going to become a competitive barbecue guy. I'm just... You weren't going out to the... No. I'm going to leave it to Lagunita's tap room to make <laughs> my wings. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, these are delicious. These are delicious. A lot of meat on them, too. A lot of meat. Yeah, they, these are substantive. Oh, these are really good. I'm starting to tear up a little bit. I get the under eye sweats. <laughs> Whenever I eat a spicy food and it's really intense, the back of my head gets damp. Really? Yeah, not, not, I don't sweat up here. It's always like the back of my skull. That's different. I have it not heard different. that. That's the first. I'm unique. I'm an, I'm an original. You're, yeah, you're an original. That's what I'm going to say. So, you grew up on classic rock. Steel Wheels was your first show. Was that 89 or 90? Only 90. Yeah. The album came out in 89 with the tour. Tour, yep. Yeah. Um, so is that kind of your wheelhouse? Are you a classic rock fan in general? Mainly. That's my go-to, classic rock, yeah. You give me, you know... Beatles, Stones, Doors, Zeppelin. But then, you know, more obscure stuff to me, the Kinks, give me all those guys. It's funny you should mention the Kinks. I just, uh, I, I go through phases with the Kinks. Okay. Every couple of years I dive back in. I'm in one of those 
phases right now. I'm diving back into all the Arista records, um, stuff from the Kinks. So low budget, Sleepwalker, cool, cool, Misfits. I love that. Yeah. Oh I love God, that. Those late seventies albums, and even um, through uh, Give the People What They Want, which is, a, I think, a terrific album. <coughs> Added up, I think, is a killer kink song. See, you got you're like a uh, encyclopedia of knowledge. And I love it. I can't help my kids with their math homework. <laughs> no. But if ever they come home with music questions, I got that. I shit was gonna done. say, when it comes to art, music, useless, informa- mm-hmm. useless information, mm-hmm. I'm the guy. <laughs> People go, I get those phone calls all the time. Hey, who sings that song, uh-huh. man? You know. <laughs> I'm crying. I can't touch my eyes because they're oh, covered don't. in pepper. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> It'd be like macing myself. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've made that mistake so many times. Oh, oh my god, it's brutal. <laughs> this is. I, I, I'm crying. My hands are covered in hot sauce. It's a good cry. It's a good cry. These are, these are delicious. I did make the fatal error of not dipping. Oh, I didn't dip. Do you want to try the barbecue ones, maybe? There yes. Go. Oh. Let's mix it up a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. I don't think people deserve see, or not deserve. I don't think they want to see me sweating. <laughs> you're getting you're getting everything from this guy. Keeping it real. Ooh, keeping it real. Keeping it 100, my man. Keeping it 100. So how do you get oh. the word out? I mean, marketing is really hard for bands. You know what? For... I, I'll be honest. That's one of my tougher things that I'm not the greatest at self-promoting marketing. I, you know? It, it's, I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. This is something I come up against as a podcaster, too. I think creative people are very good at creating but there's that other side of the brain when it comes to marketing and sales that it's hard to do. It, it is. It's, it's a business side of things in a way. Uh-huh. Almost. And, and a lot <laughs> of people have a really difficult time. I, I do. I do. It's 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 tough for me to promote myself. I don't like talking about myself. Uh, you know, I don't. It's that's what it is. I don't, I, I don't got a big head or anything like that. So that's I where it. I get into problems. Barbecue. This is. Oh, this looks a lot uh, cooler. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I hope people. I hope, well, don't hope people, but it, people can see I'm crying. <laughs> I, I guarantee this under eye sweat mm-hmm. is sparkling <laughs> off the light. Delicious. Oh, that barbecue sauce is good. I don't know if the barbecue sauce is spicy or if it's residual from the spicy. Definitely one. residual. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's somehow more intense and I'm eating barbecue now. So I'm getting some sweetness on there. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, it's, it's, it's calming down the palate. Uh huh. It's definitely calming down the palate. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Woo. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so I think the tap room. I, I should have asked Jack before we left. I don't. It's open Wednesday through Sunday. Sunday. Mm-hmm. Monday, Tuesday, they do charitable stuff here. Mm-hmm. Which they do I charitable love. stuff here. This is great. Like I said, it's not just a great place. It's filled with great people. Mm-hmm. That's that means so much more to me than anything. Like I said, I want to come here every day. I hope you do, because mm-hmm. you'll be seeing me. You'll mm-hmm. be hanging out. <laughs> everyone I met, I swear to God, everyone was super nice. I'm telling you. I'm Omar, not lying, man. Omar not lying. introduced himself. He Omar, was, great guy. Yeah. Great guy. Omar Ramos. He's a, he's one of my best friends. I've known that guy for 10 years. He's getting the photography scene. He's taking a... What, we're, what I'm doing is, everything that gets in the gallery, we're making an Instagram page. I'm making an Instagram just for the artwork, so that once you're in that gallery, I constantly promote you forever. You're that's constantly going to be up there. People can connect with you, write to you, direct to the artist. So that's, you know, I'm all just helping out, man. It's, you know, it's, it's tough out there. Trust me. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so. Woo. Yeah. So explain the Bowie print. Okay. Uh, on the, the paper you're using and the stenciling, it seems like that would be a long process. It kind of is, but uh, the paper, there's a gentleman named John Tillinghast. I call him the foil master. He makes this foil paper. Works- That's not cheap paper. Mm-mm, it's not. It costs, it, costs, it costs a pretty penny to put it on, but the man has a million designs on it. This is called the mirror foil. It's just a straight foil, you know, no pattern on it. Then, <coughs> sorry. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then we get the different layers. So first, like for me, my trick is like, this is like one of my personal little tricks that I'll, uh, I'll let go. So I, this is an old biker in my neighborhood. He's probably about 67 years old. And I was painting outside one day. He came by and he saw me doing some background designs. And he gave me the idea. He said, back in the day, the guys used to take their tanks off their bikes. They'd buy a piece of fabric from like the fabric store, wrap it around it, spray it. Then that design comes out on the tank. Sure. So sure. that's what he gave me the idea. So, I mean, lately I've been spending more time in fabric stores than I have in art stores. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But that, that, that's an artist. I mean, I, I love it though, because now it gives me so many more options. Like, yeah. you walk in, it's just like, ah, it's like a kitty candy store, you know? So that's how it is. I, just, I pick what design it is. I want for the background. I put my background down first. 
And then this Bowie I've hand cut and sprayed for a while. So like this is what this Bowie I've done before. So I have these ones cut into sheet metal. So I lay my layers down, spray it, pick it up. It takes about, you know, half an hour for each layer How to dry. How big is your so. workshop? Uh, it's not that big, <laughs> you know, it seems, it seems smaller than it is because of the clutter, yeah. <laughs> you know, but I figure cluttered mind, I don't, I work better like that. People always come in and they're like, things are everywhere, but I know where everything's at. <laughs> yeah, that, that's an artist. There you go. Clutter everywhere. Yeah. Uh, totally normal. Carafe in the uh, Mazda 3. Of course. Yeah. It's just. It's how we roll. It's how we roll over mm -hmm. by 17th Street. And, you know. Yeah. Doing that Lagunitas life. <laughs> I, we probably said it enough. I'm going to say it one more time. I love this place. Cool. I'm glad you love it, man. My, my great regret is that we're doing a podcast in the car, not hanging out in there. Oh, we're going back upstairs. Don't yeah. you forget it. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm worried they won't let me leave. I'm loving that you love it. I mean, dude, it's awesome that you do this. I'm not going to lie. I think it's really great that you get out there and you help promote people. And, you know, you're just you're having fun. You can tell you're having fun. You enjoy what you do. I, I was telling you before we recorded, this is the most fun thing I do all week. <laughs> I love that. I love that, man. I was looking forward to this. For, you know, no idea, man. <laughs> I meet interesting people. I eat cool food. Mm -hmm. This is great. It's a great life, man. <laughs> it's a great life. I would not complain. If, if there was a way I could do this and only this, and this was all I needed to do for revenue, I'd be the, I'd be the American man in the world. dream. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you could, if I could live, just paint all day. Yeah, I would love it. I would love it. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, union laborer. I bust my butt. Oh, I bet you Local do. one. So, yeah. Let's so, are you up super early in the morning? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, right now, it's kind of slow, though, with this whole crazy, you know, I, I want to say. Epidemic. <laughs> hey, I was leaving work today, and uh, someone said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to meet a stranger, and we're going to hang out in my car <laughs> on the same day that the World Health Organization declared a pandemic. And eat food together. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? No, we got this. <laughs> <laughs> two, two geniuses sitting right here. Uh-huh. <laughs> So let, let's catch up in 10 days and see where we're at. Exactly. I'll, I'll see you. You're sitting in the bed next to me at a mercy. <laughs> it's tough. You know, I, I don't even want to get into it because be, be, this is highly political at this point, highly emotional. But I I, I feel weird about n truncating everything I do and stopping everything. I can't. I got to keep living. I have to keep living. You know, you, you, clean your hands. Don't cough in each other's mouths. I mean, <laughs> you yeah, know. I don't want to make light of it in case things really do get catastrophic, but... Right now, I feel totally fine eating I'm wings cool. with you in a car. At the I, I feel good. Room. I feel good about it. I, I'm not worried one bit. I'm not going to lie. In I, 10 days, we'll see how yeah. it goes. We'll talk to you after the big respiratory illness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's talk to you from... Uh, Next podcast will be In Bed at Mercy. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So we're going to wrap this up. I, I do... Oh, God. We never got to the nachos. We're going to... Bust them open, dude. Going up. Going up. Pause the wings. we got to bust open the nachos. Time up. Time up. There's, brisket nachos there's so much in here this is like a brick oh do you smell that you I, smell of course it? i smell oh it my God. all right so let me read the description Yay. of the nachos. okay can you hold those up to the camera look at this look oh, at this sweet christmas oh. uh are these nachos. the super nachos no these are the brisket nachos right why can't i find them on the menu brisket brisket well, they're here somewhere. I'm clearly <laughs> missing them. Uh, but okay, so we've got. Oh my lord, briskets! I don't even know where to dig in. Just grab, I guess, just grab and dig in, right? I mean, yeah, scallions on there. They're jalapenos. I'm gonna get some of the meat, of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know what kind of cheese is on here. Looks like maybe a white cheese. That brisket is delicious. <laughs> that brisket is phenomenal. Mm. I didn't get the brisket yet. Get to that brisket. Mm. Oh, this is great. This is so good, man. So good. This is what you want to eat as you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like Anita's beers. Oh my gosh. I was it looking forward to this all day, and it came through. <laughs> can we just it, agree it that Lagunitas is the best? I did not disappoint. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're saying it. I think it is. I'm glad you think it is. Hopefully, other people think it is. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. I get it on that. Mm. Get it's always tough food. eating nachos. It is, you know, it, it's tough, to, especially with these guys. Mm -hmm. mm. I need the, I need the chips on the side. Dude, the brisket. Right? You just got a piece of brisket? Phenomenal, right? <laughs> so good. Again, it's that smoke flavor. I love the smoky flavor. Holy crap! I'm a big smoke guy. Okay, so if people want to see the artwork that you curate yes. at Lagunitas Tap Room, yes. they come here. 
to the Lagunitas Tap Room. Again, it's a quick shot from downtown. I mean, if you jump off 290 and get off of California and just go south for yeah. like a mile, ten minutes. There. Yeah, ten minutes. Not even. If you've ever been to Riot Fest, go one block east of there. There you go. There you go. It's that simple. And like I said, <coughs> Monday My nose through is Wednesday, running. Wednesday through Sunday. They do tours, you get tasting tours, you get to check out the whole place, they walk you around, it's a beautiful time. I'm usually here, if I'm not here and you want to talk to me, I live 15 minutes from here, I will meet you here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love your stuff, I love the stuff you're curating. Thank you, thank you. Um, the picture you made of me <coughs> is, it, it almost brings me to tears, it was oh, so cool, brother, so thank you, really beautiful it was, job. It was an honor, man, thank, seriously, wow, it was thank an you. honor, no, no worries, no worries, it was an honor. Uh, that's Chris, we're at Lagunitas Tap Room. Please come here. Drink the beer. You know what the beer tastes like. Although you probably haven't had the opportunity to have all these all beers in front of you. Yeah. It's this, a plethora. Yeah. It, it's not like, oh, my friend got a six pack of little something, something. No. no. You could try everything. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I could even name all the beers. I couldn't tell you how many there are. It's, it's, it's insane amount. And like I said, you're going to have a great time no matter what. Uh, there are a couple beers that do scare me. Oh, yeah? Uh, the Maximus, which is 8.2. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those nights, you know? <laughs> it's one of those nights. Yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, that is the uh, highest. Highest ABV. for sure. Uh-huh. That's, uh, make sure someone else is driving. Make sure someone else is drinking these. Uber it up, guys, uh -huh. when you're doing those. Uber it up. <laughs> so I want to thank Lagunitas for setting us up. This food is delicious. This place is, I, I they're, they're accurate by playing the Willy Wonka theme as you walk in. This is like Willy Wonka's it's Chocolate paradise, Factory. Man. Only with beer. It's a paradise. And and pinball and bags <laughs> and and briskets and wings. This is and, and, and mean, you know, so <laughs> skip going to Vegas. Plan a weekend around this. Exactly. This Save the so money. So thank you, Lagunitas. Thank you, Chris, for the work that you do supporting the arts community. Thank you just for the incredible art you well, create. Thank you for having me. And I want to thank CNH Financial Services for sponsoring this. I'm gonna make the podcast video go bye bye. <laughs>